For our next paper, there has been a change in the program by the pres uh, in the presenter. Uh, the paper is entitled Laparoscopic versus Open Gastrectomy for Gastric Adenocarcinoma, Long-Term Outcomes from a Large-Scale Multicenter Study, and the presenter will be Dr. Do Young Park. Thank you. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm very honored to uh, present this topic on behalf of a Korean laparoscopic GI surgery study. Thank you. The authors have nothing to disclose. Up to now, uh, there are um, many, there have been many papers about uh, comparison of laparoscopic versus open gastrectomy. However, sample sizes in most of these studies were very small, and the follow -up, uh, were, uh, follow ups were very uh, short, uh, even in randomized clinical trial. So the aim of this study uh, is to compare laparoscopic and open surgery for gastric cancer uh, using large-scale and long-term follow-up uh, multicenter data and risk to actual five-year survival. From 1998 to 2005, a total of 3,053 patients from 10 institutions in Korea were included in this study. Of them, 1,485 were treated with laparoscopy and 1,568 by open method. Median follow-up period was 70.8 months. Long-term outcomes such as actual five-year over survival and uh, five-year cancer-related survivor and actual five-year recurrence-free survivor uh, were compared between two groups. Uh, four patients with non-adenocarcinoma and three patients who underwent to open conversion were excluded from laparoscopic group, and 69 patients with stage four and T clinically T4B stage were also excluded from open group because normally these patients had been treated laparoscopically. And 27 patients from laparoscopic group and 48 patients from open group uh, lost the follow-up. So they were also excluded in an analysis of, uh, for evaluating cancer-related and recurrence-free survival. Um, Mortality rate between two groups were not different. However, many demographic factors and TNM stages were significantly different between two groups. Um, it, um, it may be due to different indications of two procedures. So we compared the long-term outcomes uh, stratifying by uh, TNM stages. Very interestingly, regarding overall survival, in stage 1A, five-year overall survival rate were 95.3% uh, for laparoscopic group and 90% uh, for open group. It shows a di uh, significant difference. However, in stage 1B, 2A, 2B, uh, 3A, 3B and 3C, uh, there was no significant differences in five-year overall survival rate between two groups. Regarding cancer-related survival, uh, cancer-related death was defined as uh, death related to recurrence mortality and chemotherapy and long-term complications. 
uh, low differences in five-year cancer-related survival rate according to, to the tumor stages were observed like the stage 1 and B, 2A and 2B, and 3A, 3B, and 3C. Regarding recurrence-free survival, uh, also th uh, there were a there were no significant differences in uh, actual five-year recurrence-free survival rate uh, of uh, each stage, like 1A, 1B, and 2A, 2B, and 3A, 3B, and 3C. In order to know the reason of difference of over survival rate in stage 1A, the causes of death in stage 1A were summarized in this table. We observed the relatively high incidence of death in open group and different pattern of cause of death between two groups. To analyze whether the procedure type, such as laparoscopy and open, was an independent factor affecting on the survival, multivariate analysis was performed. So we uh, uh, have known old age and male gender and upper one third tumor location and mortality and recurrence were predictable factors for death in stage 1A. However, the procedure type, whether laparoscopy or open, was not an independent factor for survival in stage 1A. When the independent, independent factors associated with the survival in stage 1A uh, were compared between two groups. Open group showed older and higher incidence of male gender and upper one third location. In conclusion, laparoscopic gastrectomy for gastric cancer is a uh, feasible and safe oncologic procedure with equivalent long-term result compared with open gastrectomy at each stage. Uh, this data it should be verified by phase three trial, and we will report the result of phase three at 2015. And the uh, result would be background data of further study to expand the indication of a laparoscopic gastrectomy uh, to advance the gastric cancer. Thank you for your kind attention. We have time for one question from the floor, if anyone would like to come up one of the microphones. And meanwhile, we have to bow down to your impressive experience in laparoscopic reception of gastric cancer. Uh, and seeing none in the interest of time, I think we will move on. So thank you for that excellent paper. Thank you.